what we're going to do is create a simple navigation system using code snippets in Adobe Animate 2021. The first thing I'm going to do is go to File, New. And right here, this is very important. You see you have ActionScript 3.0 or HTML5 Canvas. Uh, what we want is HTML5 Canvas. That's important. Uh, these are the pre-canned dimensions. And what I'm going to use is full HD, you know, basically for time-saving. I'm going to come to this and make the window smaller so I can see the complete window. The next thing I'm going to do is create about seven layers right down here, new layer. Four, five, I uh, might not need seven, but uh, just in case. Next, I'm going to come up to Modify Document, and I'm going to change the background color. I'm assuming everyone is a little bit familiar with the interface because I'm not going to be going over the interface. The top layer I'm going to call the Actions layer. This is where the code goes. The very next layer will be for buttons. What I'm going to do next is go to the frame 100, holding down shift, click the top and the bottom, then come right click on a, a PC or control click on a Mac and do insert keyframe. And I have all my keyframes populated from uh, 1 to 100. Next, I'm going to create buttons. And um, that's going to be on the buttons layer, so I have to have that selected. So what I'm going to do is go to the rectangle tool. And I see the color is red. Uh, I'm going to use maybe this color. Well, maybe an orange, a yellower color, rather. And just make a small rectangle. This is going to be a button. Coming over to the pointer tool, I pull a rectangle around that rectangle I just created. And I go up to Modify, Convert to Symbol. And I say I have three options, Movie, Button, Graphic. And I want Button. So now when I come over to the library, I have that button in the library. So I'm going to delete that. And if I take the button in the library and I double click it, or if I double click this when I was on the stage, what you do is you're going into the buttons timeline. So you have four different frames. No more than four. Uh, I can do a layer on this if I wanted to add sound and, and create new free keyframes on the new layer, but I'm basically keeping this simple. So I'm going to come up here and populate these four keyframes. One, two, four. And for over, I'm going to say I want to change the color. Uh, for down, And if I hit, what I would do is pull a rectangle around this. Even though you can see that here, you're not going to be able to see it out on the main stage. Because like I said earlier, what you have now is you're working within the timeline of the button. So if I come up here, I see symbol, and I see an arrow, which is telling me I can go back to the main stage right here. So now I have the button ready to go. One, two, and three. Now, if I scrub the playhead, there's nothing happening. So I'm going to create a navigation system here. And in order to, to see that the timeline is actually moving, I'm going to have to put something on the timeline, you know, that is some type of a representation that is actually moving. So I'll call this uh, just one. 
I'll call this two and I'll call this three. Now I'm going to put keyframes in each one of these. So one, I'll, on one, I'll go to, to frame 20 and I'll put in the keyframe. And I'm going to come to the rectangle. I'm going to select that. Make sure I have it selected. I'm going to come to the rectangle. Go to properties. I have a red here for a fill. And as you can see, I have no stroke. And I'm just going to pull a red rectangle. So that's on frame 20. And for two, I'm going to put a keyframe in 50. Back to the rectangle tool. Properties. And it's a blue. And see that it comes, you have the red rectangle above it, so it comes underneath it. And that's on frame 50. So now I have three. I'm going to select three and say on frame 70, I'm going to insert a keyframe and pull another color. So I don't want blue. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just go to the pointer tool and I double click and you see how the surface changes and just come over to do colors here and change it. So now what we're going to do is add the code to all this, and this is going to be done using code snippets. Before we start adding code to this document, what we have to do is give each of these instance name, names, or give each of these buttons names. So what I'm going to do is call this button one. That's my first button. When you're doing this, it's best to not have any spaces. Button two. and BTN3. So it, without these names, as you see, I'm in properties. Without these names, there's no way the software program of Animate can make a distinction between these rectangles. That's all they are. It's just rectangles, and they're all the same. They're all basically uh, similar to if you had a note in music. A note in music is nothing and until it's you know designated as a you know, a C or a B flat or an F sharp or a G or so all of these buttons have to be given instant names in order to work. So in order to, to do code, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to window, then to actions. That opens up this window. And when you open up the actions window, you see up top you have the wizard. This is one way of adding code, but what you're not going to do. It's a little bit more sophisticated than what we're doing and not quite so simple. And then you have code snippets right here. There are two brackets. And these two brackets, uh, usually they represent, uh, basically represent something like HTML. But in this case, it's JavaScript. So when I click these two brackets, what opens up is code snippets. And you can see Action Scripts and you can see HTML5 Canvas. If you remember when we first started this document, we had the option of Action Script or HTML5 Canvas, and we chose HTML5 Canvas. So right now, we're ready to add navigation properties to these buttons. But as soon as we open this up right now, What's going to happen is this is just going to go through the timeline and continuously loop. So we'll, we'll test it in the browser. So the first thing we want to do is put a stop on the very first frame. And we can do that with code snippets. And if you remember, we the first frame, I'm going to select the very first frame. 
and I'm, we're in HTML5 Canvas, and we're in Timeline Navigation. All we're going to do is stop at this frame. Double click. So if I look at my Actions window or my Code window, what I see is this stop. And then this, this grayed out text here doesn't do anything. I can delete it. But what it does do is it gives you an explanation as far as what the code does. So you always, with uh, Animate, you're always going to see this in front. And this basically represents like root uh, or the timeline. Uh, so this is going to stop at stop the, the animation at frame one. So we put the first action script. You can see right there, there's a little a right in frame one. And that's going to stop the animation at frame one. Next, we're going to go and you, we're going to go to the first button. And we're going to go to click to go to frame and stop. So now I, again, you know, I have the grayed out text and it's telling me what it's doing. And what you have here is a function. I don't want to get into JavaScript, but a function is almost like, a, it's almost like a, a recipe. You see this button one, add event listener. An event is, you know, clicking. That's an event. Uh, go to and stop at this frame, this. And then a function and go to and stop at five. Well, I want to change five to number 20. I'll say 21 for that button. Now I'm going to select button number two, and that's going to go to this frame, which is 50. And again, I have the button selected, go to this frame, click to go to the frame and stop. So here's the exact same uh, mirror image of what uh, the button one was. But I'm going to, for the button here, I'm going to do 50. Two. Now we have button three. And I'm going to again do click, as I have it selected, click to go to frame and stop. Double, I'll double click here. And again, we have the exact same thing as we have above. And I'm just deleting the gray. What you don't have to do, it makes no difference whatsoever. Those are just comments. So now, when I test it with all the code, I come up to Control, Test, and I stop at frame one, and I, my mouse over, so working, Ah, what happens on frame three? Oh, I know what I did. I never changed this. See, I have 21, 52, and I left this on five. You don't touch any of these other numbers. Uh, all you're concerned with is this right down here. Go to and stop the very last thing. But I didn't change that. That's why it didn't work. And that was 70, say 70. I'll do, uh, say 75 is good. Not will work. Do control and test. There's all three, there's two, there's one, two. So everything works. And that's a fairly, it's a, it's a fairly simple way to uh, set up a, uh, a navigation system. And I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.